All right, so it's road trip time, and you know I want to test out how these Tacovas do every single day on a road trip across the country from Seattle to upstate New York. Let's do this thing. Stopped here at the uh, Thorpe Fruit and Antique Mall. There's a lot of used boots here. A lot. A lot of vintage stuff. I'm gonna hit the road. Let's do this thing. That's where I remember. Before we actually get too far into this road trip, I wanted to just sort of show how they look now so that we can look at them later and see how they look. Did they take a really bad beating? Uh, do they look pretty much the same? These are the sort of the things that I want to see what happens with these Tacovas and how they actually wear. So here's the soles right now. So I have worn them around a little bit. Not too bad. The left foot. Right foot. All right. There isn't as much walking as I would usually do say throughout a day because I'm driving. But wearing them every day and wearing them in different locations and different terrains and geographies and weathers uh, is a nice way to see how a pair of boots holds up. I've done it several times with my boulets and I've always been impressed with how the boulet boots hold up. So I figured I'd give the Decovas a similar test. Let's do it. Shed a tear, I'm too busy taking the lead. Different from the average, the lonely and the lavish fit in one perfect package. Trading no day two here on the road trip with the Tacovas, and they are still doing great. Yesterday at the river where I was recording, I climbed on some rocks, I got them dusty, I got them wet, and they held up really nice. Now, I didn't wear them much before this road trip. It definitely has worn away the last bit of the Tacovas logo on the bottom of the boot. I have seen that, uh, but it's still feeling great. All right, I am just outside of Butte, Montana. I want to make Bozeman for the night, and uh, I better get back on the road. folks in every trade, those who create and those who aid, and I know the tune with your name, ask me any time of day, I know the boots that will fit, I know fools who will never quit. Day three on the road with the Tacovas has gone nicely, although when I was at Al's Bootery today and I was trying on the Ariats with the cowboy heel, I realized I really like the cowboy heel feel. Now, I like the one inch roper heel, but I'm not sure I'm a roper kind of guy. But still, they are holding up nice, even in the mud here. I'm kind of goofing around. I did some recording and then I took some pictures. So they're holding up nice in the mud and the wet as well. Ah! <laughs> Probably would not have been able to make it that far with a cowboy heel. Become what it is today. I know the partner you need Those who can help you to break free And if you ask how to be like me You know exactly In the 
pines, everybody, in the pines. It's Colas for the road trip. You tell me. What do you think so far? I think they're holding up pretty good. They got muddy. They're getting muddy, but they're holding up pretty good. Look out. Standing on tables. And it's not even 9 a.m. yet. I'm the connector to storytellers, carpenters, and inspectors. Day five with the Tacovas here in Iowa. Still going great. Again, it was just mainly a day of driving. Here at the park, sort of messing around, getting the boots a little bit more muddy again. And I haven't cleaned them, just sort of keeping them dirty. I'll clean them when I get home. It's not that big of a deal. They're boots after all. We're testing them, so we're seeing how, how well they hold up. And uh, so far, so good, you know? So far, so good. I'm, I'm still pretty impressed with the durability. I haven't noticed any sole issues. I have noticed that the sole is a little bit softer. Now, it might be, they might do that on purpose so that it feels more broken in when you put it on for the new boot owners out there, which may make it wear down faster. I haven't noticed anything different though. But this is the fifth day in the war, in a row, excuse me, that I've worn them and still great. <laughs> So I made it back across country with the Tacovas. This is the Earl model. It, it did great. Uh, I haven't noticed any more wear on the bottom, on the sole here. Uh, it's, it's held up really nicely. As you can see, it had a little bit more worn here in the vamp and I haven't cleaned it yet, uh, but it's, it's looking great. I'm pretty impressed with this boot. I'm happy that it held up. One thing that I noticed though while wearing these across country is that on the left foot, so this boot right here, I noticed the arch for me was just a little bit too far back. So I think I want to try the 11 and a half size next uh, just because I feel like it might be a little bit better on my arch specifically for my foot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean these up now and I had my dad try them and they fit him like perfect. So I'm gonna give these to my dad. And then that frees me up to get the same color for the Wyatts, which is the ostrich boot, their traditional uh, cowboy boot with the heel. As I said earlier in this video, this Roper heel is nice, like it looks great, but wow, do I miss do I miss that traditional cowboy boot heel? I just really like the look. I really like everything about the traditional cowboy boot look and, uh, and how comfortable it is for me specifically. So I would have to say that this Roper is great. It held up really nicely across country, but now I want to try the 11 and a half to see how that fits with the traditional cowboy boot heel because that's just my style. I don't I don't I don't need this roper and since my dad wants a roper and this fit him perfect. So, I'm going to give this to my dad now. <clears throat> and uh then eventually, hopefully very soon, I can get my hands on the Tacovas Wyatt boot, this same desert color because I love it. So I'm gonna clean this up now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Overall, the Tacovas held up great for a cross country tour and I would definitely recommend this boot. It can hold up. It can hold up just like a cowboy boot should be able to hold up when you require it to without being treated. Like I just left this muddy, I left it dirty. I'm cleaning it up now. So it's, uh, it's been great. It's been a great boot. Um, it, it, it definitely passed the test. That's for sure. All right, everybody, I'm gonna clean this up now. Tacovas hold up well on the road. Yes, they can carry the load. From the west coast to the east. Tacovas 
horses can be beasts. Thank you so much for watching today. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Do not forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>